Rachel says Tony won't do his chores. Tony makes up excuses why he does not want to have sex with me. So we found her a handyman. He taught me merengue, mambo, salsa. As soon as I got her booty shaking, right. she was she was moving. And he says he's the man for the job. Salsa and merengue is just a sexual kind of dance. Yeah. After Tony dates a woman. She looks just like Cindy Crawford. It's like a plain Jane. Who's a little less demanding. We're going to have to have sex every two minutes. <laughs> Will these two stay together or have a change of heart? What? This is a show where couples who've reached a crossroads in their relationship voluntarily go on one blind date with someone new. We're going to meet their dates a little bit later, but first let's meet our couple. Now, they met two years ago when they both worked as community service officers. Then he went off to the police academy. They started dating when he invited her to his academy graduation three months ago. Please welcome Tony Luce and Rachel Martinez. <laughs> welcome to the show. You guys are here because you're not uh, sure that your relationship has enough sirens and whistles and lights going off in it. So, uh, Tony, <laughs> want to start with you, though. What finally made you ask Rachel to, uh, out on a date? Well, we had worked together for about two years together, and I was always really attracted to her. And But I didn't think going out and working together was such a good idea. So when I left, I thought that would be a good time to uh, start a relationship. And so I invited her to our Academy graduation party. Okay, so that makes sense. And Rachel? In those uh, few months that you've been getting to know Tony, what's the most romantic thing he's done for you? Uh, probably when he picked flowers from his father's garden. Aww. Yeah. It was really special because he didn't just have to go out and buy them. He actually arranged a bouquet. That was nice. Aww. Very sweet. Now, Rachel, since you guys don't work together anymore, how much time do you guys spend together? None. I never None. see him. Aww. He never wants to spend time with me, and he acts like he's bored of me. Tony, what's up with that? It's only been three months. No, well, she just, no, it's never enough. I, you know, we go out all the time. We go out to dinner. We go out to the movies. We just went to the Long Beach Aquarium not too long ago. But whatever, wherever we go, whatever we do, it's just never enough. You know, I say, you know, I compliment her all the time, say nice That's things about true. it. That's not never compliments oh. me. She, That's not true. I, I always it's say, not true, Tony. She turns it around in her head that whatever I say about her, it's just it's not, not right. No, it's no. right. It's now, not Tony, is enough. there other reasons why you're not spending as much time with her? Well, Rachel, you know, she wants, you know, unprotected sex. That's Sometimes not true. Wait, it, let yes. me start. No, no, no. That's not true. Yeah. That is yeah. not true. That, that, wait, that needs an explanation. Go ahead, Rachel, explain. Okay, Tony makes up excuses why he does not want to have sex with me. Either oh. it's he doesn't have condoms, he doesn't want to get me pregnant. I don't know. I was starting to think it was me, but he's making up all these different excuses. I just don't oh. know if he's attracted well, no. to me. As Tony, are those excuses it. or just good reasons? No, they're just very good reasons, and she doesn't understand that. She, that's you know, sex. It just seems to be the biggest thing. That's all. That's no, all she that's ever talks true. about or wants. Intimacy is important. And it obviously, is, Tony doesn't that's think all, so. That's all she wants from this relationship. That's not true. It no, is. it's not. Now, Rachel, has not he changed? True. Let me ask you: Has he changed since he became a cop? You oh, definitely. Well, he's always been arrogant. Always. He's very cocky. So, you know, having, okay. having all this power doesn't help. Not only that, he thinks he's, he's smarter than 95% of the population and that came from his own work. Tony, that's not too flattering. No, no. I, I'm not arrogant. I'm just extremely confident. That, I'd just like to get that out right now. No. No. You know, there's, you know, as you said, you know, I, I am very intelligent and Education is a very important and very important thing to me. We asked to talk to you about uh, Rachel's personality. What's that like? Well, she's uh, she's just very uh, she's been spoon fed. She's uh, she's got she's been very spoiled her, her whole life. That's not true. I, you know, no, I, it's I, I not. take her out. I, take I know her out what I places. want and I want it, and obviously you're not supplying that. For me. Oh! Well then, Rachel. That's not being Rachel. Good. Rachel, answer this question. Do you think Tony appreciates you? No, he doesn't. You don't appreciate me. He never compliments me. He never tells me I look nice. No. If I give him a compliment, he says, I know. Tony, you look nice. I know. Not you thank know? you. No, not thank you. He never says thank you. No. I, I tell her that she looks nice and, you know, all the time. You know, maybe not as often as she would like. But, you know, I say it to her, and she just turns around her head that, oh, I never hear it. Oh, you know, I want to hear it more. Every, every five minutes, she has to hear something nice come out of my mouth about her. Uh, well, Tony, tell well, us how, what you think about Rachel's look. Well, she puts on entirely too much makeup. Am I wearing too much makeup now? No. Well, today, oh, thank to, you. Okay, okay, today is an exception. But usually, you guys don't know her. 
Usually she's got this lipstick that makes her lips look twice as big as her actual lips are. That's not true. That's not true. And she's I got used these to do shoes. that when we, we, we worked no, together. No, no, no. What's wrong shoes. with her shoes? She's got uh, the world's ugliest shoes. No. You, know, you guys can't tell. No. Not today. Not today because we're on TV, but I'm sure if she could have, she would have bought her little orange jelly shoes, well, a little what, plastic thing. He things. has some Adidas shoes that he's had since he was like three years old, but, and they look like... Uh, right, those, those are my Rachel, lucky shoes. Rachel, we need to take a break. Tell us why this is a good time for the two of you to agree that uh, dates were something that you should do. Well, um, obviously he needs to learn how to appreciate me more, and if he can't, then, you know, we just need to decide if we can work these issues out or if we're just wasting our time. All right, work it out or wasting time. That's what we're going to find out. It seems that Rachel and Tony obviously have some wrinkles in their relationship. Now, when we come back, we're going to meet the people that they dated, and we'll find out, will they stay together or will they have a change of heart? So stay with us. Rachel and Tony. Now, Rachel wanted a man who would take her to new places and tell her she's special. So we matched her up with a former baseball player who likes dancing with Latin ladies. Please welcome Gerardo Flores. Hi, hey, Gerardo. Nice to meet you. Tony, let me ask you, does uh, Gerardo look like a baseball player to you? Yeah, he's all right, I guess. Yeah? Rachel, it tell me. me. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Rachel, where did you and Gerardo decide to meet for your date? Okay, well, he picked me up from my aunt's house, and um, everyone loved him. He met my mom, my aunt, oh. and they all thought he was very handsome, very polite. A lot of ladies at the house there. And Gerardo, oh, was yeah. it obvious that uh, Rachel's mom liked you? Yeah, I'd say so. There, when I pulled up to the house, there was all these females on the lawn, and <laughs> I told her not to be doing that to me, but I walked up to the lawn, and I saw her mom. Um, what looked like her mom, she kind of described it to me, and um, so she's like, I'm Rachel, I'm Rachel. I'm like, no, I don't think so. And I, I, met, I met Rachel, well, but she was fine. She was fine. Her mom was fine. She almost got, you know, a little um, disappointed that night because I was going to take her mom out, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> she was, so, she Rachel, was cool. uh, tell us where Gerardo took you on the date. Well, he took me to the observatory, and we sat on the roof and looked over the city and watched the sunset, and we talked. Oh. We talked about everything. The Family, same observatory that, that we went to? Oh! Would that be the same one? It's a popular observatory. What can oh, I say? Okay. <laughs> Just that observatory sure. was tight, though. Okay. It, was, it was nice. Gerardo, in the conversation that you guys were having, did you bring up Tony? Um, yeah, we talked about Tony all the time. Uh, well, not all right. the time, at, at first. Um, she basically told me that, you know, he wasn't very uh, attentive to her, um, wasn't satisfying her, so I think she basically <laughs> needed to vent. Um, and I, I think, you know, she was vending with me and, and I was fine with it. She, she seemed really cool. Yeah. Really and, and Tony, how do you feel about the fact that she was dissing you on the first date with <laughs> no, you? Yeah, I'm not exactly happy about that. What is that, that about satisfying? What, what, what are you guys talking about? Well, she's, she's a very attractive girl. I okay, mean, look right, at her. Is. You want me to get her up? Yeah, so you can take a closer look. I mean, she's fine. <laughs> you gotta be telling her. Well, hold up, hold up a second. You gotta be telling her. I mean, she, you're a man, dude. You gotta be telling her, like. All right, wait, let me ask Rachel. You know, you're a man. It's about something you do regularly. That's not something right, you have to on, practice. Let me ask Rachel about the rest of the date. Now, after your romantic sunset, what happened next? Uh, we went back to my aunt's house and we changed into our dinner clothes. And um, but um, one thing that my aunt Sassy didn't notice is that he didn't open the car door for me. Oh, so, oh you missed that, that one. Oh, come <laughs> on. No, what happened is she's like she works for a cop people or whatever. She knows the police department or whatever. And, you know, she's a strong woman. I mean, she can open her own door. She's, she's, she's okay. I mean, there. she's very, you know, capable of opening her own door. All right, so That's you guys okay. came back, you changed, and then off to dinner you went. Where did you go, yeah, Rachel? Yeah, we went to this really hot Latin club um, for dinner and dancing. It was very nice. He made reservations. It was great. Now, Gerardo, one of the things Tony was saying that uh, yeah. Rachel cakes on the makeup, although today wasn't a good example, was that the case when you were out with her? Well, I didn't see any flaws with her at all. I mean, she was perfect. <laughs> Glasses or something? No, no. You might need glasses. No, I don't if know. You, if you didn't see fine. the makeup, it must have been pretty dark in there. All right. Oh, oh, no. No. It was perfectly. It was perfectly daylight. We went to the observatory. We saw the sunset. Rachel, let cool. me ask you the difference between the two men here. Was uh, Gerardo more attentive than Tony normally is when you're out? Oh, definitely. He paid me a lot of compliments. Um, there were pretty girls there, and I mentioned, hey, you know, there's a lot of pretty girls here, aren't there? And he said, yeah, there are. You know, whereas Tony probably would be like, yep, there sure are, and he would have been like scoping them out, but. He didn't. So he was a little more polite. Yeah. Uh, Gerardo, <laughs> did uh, Rachel come off as insecure and spoiled to you? The only insecurity I saw was that her man makes her insecure. 
Oh. I mean, the guy should not be doing that to her. She's a very beautiful yeah. woman. She does me doesn't really need to be insecure at all. She's she's no, got a good right. head she, on her she shoulders. She doesn't need she's, to be. You know, she, she is a very attractive girl, but she doesn't. She all she wants is she wants compliments every every two minutes. No, that's go, not it. Tell, well, tell, she me, never tell me, me tell me, tell me, I look good. Well, she deserves it. She deserves the compliments. Rachel, you said this was uh, dinner and uh, dancing at a Latin club, so did you guys hit the dance floor? Yeah, he's a really good teacher. He taught me merengue, mambo, salsa, and we slow dance. Yeah. Yeah. We slow dance, that was really good. And Tony, is she a good student? Uh, she's a very good student. At first, she was a little hesitant. I had to shake her butt a little bit, shake that ass. <laughs> I, had slap, I had to slap her around. She was a little hesitant, she was a little hesitant, wait, wait. but as soon as I got her booty shaking, she was, she was moving. She what, Tony? <laughs> What's the matter, Tony? What's, what's with this butt thing going on here? Oh, well, you're dancing. It was our Kelly Theory. We were bumping and grinding a little bit. <laughs> it was cool. That's that salsa uh, and merengue and stuff like that is just a sexual kind of dance. Yeah, you just gotta yeah. get into it like that. Rachel, one of your complaints was that Tony's a little arrogant. Was Gerardo at all? Um, not arrogant. They're both very confident. Um, he knows he's good. He's very handsome and he knows it, but he jokes about it. He doesn't. Oh. And, um, and uh, he's very smart, but he doesn't have to tell people that he's smart. It's like it's obvious. He's very smart. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gerardo, uh, there was a lot of bumping and grinding going on the dance floor. Was there any bumping and grinding off the dance floor? <laughs> well, I didn't want to say, no. Um, there wasn't any bumping and grinding going on. You know, I was a perfect gentleman all night. She's a very good girl. She's, you know, so we, I took her to her aunt's house and Took her to her car, gave her a kiss on the cheek, and she was, she was great. Rachel, let me ask you what you thought. Uh, were you disappointed at all that it wasn't more romantic than that? Or? Not at all. He held my hand. Um, he had his arms around me most of the night. Most, and, of, most of the night? And the kiss was nice. It was perfect, and he's definitely a man that I would see a future with. Okay, well, will there be a future? That's what we're going to find out because was the bumping and grinding with Gerardo enough to give Rachel a change of heart? We're going to find that out later, but before we do that, we have to meet the woman that Tony dated, and we'll hear all about their date next, so stay with us. Yeah. All right, welcome back. We just heard what happened on Rachel's date with Gerardo, and now we get to meet the woman that Tony dated. Now, Tony wants a woman who doesn't need a lot of makeup or compliments to make her feel confident, so we matched him up with a tantalizing Texan who shares his love of sports. Please welcome Amber Weeks. Hi, Amber. Welcome. Rachel, let me ask you, does Amber remind you of anyone famous? No? Not at uh, all. Tony, how about you? Yeah, when I, as soon as I walked in the door, when I picked her up at her apartment, I looked in and she looked just like Cindy Crawford. She got nice. the little mold there. <laughs> Rachel doesn't think so, no? No, not no. at all. No, she just, just looks like a plain Jane. It was... <laughs> okay. Amber, when you first met Tony, did he strike you as a romantic type? Oh, definitely. He was incredibly sweet. He showed up with a white rose and gave me a hug. It was really nice. Aww. That'll happen once. Oh. Rachel, do you think it was one of those special flowers that he grows himself? I don't know. Were they from your father's garden? No, I went to the oh. store and I, I got this one. I didn't pick it. We didn't have any white roses at the house, so I went and just got a one. Gotcha. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so Tony, did you plan an athletic date since you have the commonality there with sports? Right, yeah. When I talked to her on the phone, uh, she told me that she really liked rock climbing. And uh, I had never gone before, so I thought that would be pretty neat. We went down and we went indoor rock climbing. Um, you know. We had, we had a good time, and she, we went rock climbing, and she started climbing up. She was wearing this little little half T-shirt right here, showing off her abs. Yeah, yeah, she climbed up the wall. You can see her just like tight butt, and she was climbing up the wall. <laughs> Amber, Tony's a recent uh, graduate of the police academy, so I would assume then he's also in pretty good shape. Oh, definitely. I have to agree with the tight butt thing. It was, it was nice. I had <laughs> now, Rachel, would you do something like that with Tony? Go rock climbing? Sure, he's no. just never suggested No, nah, she'd never go. You'd well, she never has the tight butt for it. No, Chris. she does have she the tight butt okay. for it. She's very tight up. Down. Oh, yeah, that's really important. <laughs> <laughs> she, not that I noticed. She, she won't even put sports on the TV, much less go do anything. Anything, okay. No. Amber, one of the complaints we heard from Rachel was Tony's not very attentive. Did you find that to be true? 
No, he was incredibly attentive. When he first called me, he asked me if I was a vegetarian, which a lot of guys don't think to ask that. I'm from Texas. I like my red meat. So I was like, I want a steak, okay? I want a steak. So, I mean, he also asked if I, he went and called ahead to look and see if he could find a country western dancing place, and most guys won't do that for a girl. And he opened all the doors, pulled my chair out. He was really sweet. All right, Tony, let me ask you about Amber's makeup. How was that compared to Rachel's? No, I mean, if she was wearing any, when I picked her up, I didn't notice it. And she just said that natural beauty. She was just, she just looked oh, good. She, she was just wearing I'm some sweats. Natural? She was just wearing some sweats in that little t-shirt. Yeah, you know, you know, she looked good. She didn't need any makeup. You know, <laughs> she, <laughs> when, we, when, we went out to, when we went out to dinner, you know, she got all dressed up. She looked really nice, and you know, her lipstick was really nice. See how it like fits actually just on her lips, not up, you know, oh, on her chin and stuff. <laughs> Oh, please. Amber, while, while you guys were hanging out, uh, Mine did Tony... better than hers, though. Uh... Oh! Tony, what's the biggest difference between Amber and Rachel's personalities? Well, a you know, Amber, she's real confident about herself. She knows she, she looks good. She doesn't need, you know, for me to say, oh, you look beautiful every two minutes. You know, I'll say it to her, and, you know, and she, she believes me when I say it. I don't it. need it either. And, it's know, just that you never and, say and it. And she just accepts it, and she knows Girl, she looks good. Girl, it's the first date. It's all going to end. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's not the way She's it is, not spoiled, though, hasn't been handed everything her entire I'm life. Spoiled? Yes. I'm spoiled? I'm yes. spoiled, Tony. You're, spoiled. You're so you full so of it. Oh. Amber. Wait a minute. Amber, Amber what, 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 yes, Who's are. worked two jobs since Wait, hold up. 15? Not you, me. Hold up, Thank Rachel. You. Who lives with their parents? Who Amber, lives with their parents? Who's saving up some money so I can, you know, do something with my life? Mm. Let what me just get name? Amber's Disneyland. opinion on this. What's your take on Rachel being spoiled? What do you think? Well, I think she needs to know what she's got because he, you know, she needs to know what she's getting into. He's a cop. He's not going to have a lot of time for a girlfriend, and I understand that, and I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> Tony. Rock climbing, you said, was a first for you. Was there any other first on this date? All right, well, after we had dinner, we went back uh, to her place, and you know, her, her roommate was gone, so we went in, and her roommate came. Yeah. Just, we just laid down on the bed for a little while and watched some TV. He likes to do that a lot. He likes yeah. to sit around a lot, by the way. Yeah, because, you know, pretty inactive. Sitting, uh, sitting around and just talking with her is usually enough. They don't have to have sex every two minutes. Yeah! So, so I just walked in. I, funny, we walked in her room. Sex, we so walked in. Like, just like, if it's not every second, it's nothing. It's, you know, she just blows everything out of proportion. So, Tony, do me a favor, because we've got to take a break that. here. Right. Uh, just sum up the date for me. Right. Well, What's up with that? When we were outside, uh, I just gave her, you know, a hug, good night, and, you know, I, I said, you know, I had a great time. You know, she, that's, you know, she was really beautiful. And then, you know, that was it. I just let her go. I got in my car, and I just think about, you know, what a great time we had together. And uh, how beautiful she was. And Amber, were you happy the way things ended? Happy. We had great chemistry, but he was holding back a little bit. So maybe next time I can have a chance to get arrested. <laughs> All right. The question is, will there be a next time? Because Rachel and Tony have to make a decision. Are they going to stay together or have a change of heart? During the break, they're going to make that decision. We'll come back and find out what they decided next. So stay with us. <laughs> We are here at the moment of truth because during the break, Rachel and Tony each made a final decision about the future of their relationship, and there's no turning back now. Will they stay together, or have they had a change of heart? Now, you guys came on the show because you said you didn't appreciate each other enough and might be wasting each other's time. So, Tony, we're going to start with you. You said you wanted to hang out with somebody that was more confident and more secure, somebody that was more of a natural beauty and not so made up, somebody that you could do physical things with like you did with Amber. You guys went rock climbing. You had a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. But you do have some history with Rachel. Your decision, stay together or change your heart? Well, me and Rachel have been having a lot of problems, and I just don't think we're going to be able to work them out together. And I'd really like to go out with Amber again, so I had to change your heart. <laughs> Amber, is that okay with you? All right, Rachel, we'll get your decision. You said you wanted to go out with somebody that wasn't so arrogant. Uh, somebody that was going to be able to spend more time with you, give you more compliments. Uh, there you were with Gerardo. You guys had a really good time. He met your family. They seemed to like him. You went dancing. You had a lot of moments together. Yeah, that bumping and grinding, of course. Yes. Your decision, though, stay together or change of heart? Well, I had the best date of my life with Gerardo. And Tony, we do have a lot of history. 
But um, I think it's better that we just go back to where we started, which was friends, and I'm gonna have a change of heart. Change of heart. Gerardo, does that work for you? Okay. Well, obviously you guys had some issues to deal with here. You got through them all, and maybe you're better off with both of you going into two new relationships. So thanks for being here on the show with us. Appreciate that. That's our show for today. Good luck to Tony and Amber, and also to Rachel and Gerardo. We'll see you next time here on Change of Heart. Yeah.